Good morning children in today's session i'm going to take class for 7th standard english that is unit 3 uh, one play is there children name is jane eyre okay um, those who have the book can take page number 137 so we are going to uh, have an interesting story now uh, first is Anne kate's head okay jane eyre is a 10 years old okay how many years old 10 years old both her parents are dead that is father and mother both are dead she lives with her aunt mrs reed so what is auntie's name Mrs. Reed and three cousins, okay, Eliza, John and Georgiana. Bessie is a servant maid. So, Jane Eyre is a 10 years old girl. Uh, both her parents are dead, that is father and mother and whom she is living, she is living with her aunt, name is Mrs. Reed and her children, that is cousins, Eliza, John and Georgiana and Bessie is a servant there, okay. Now, Bessie says, Miss Jane, keep out of mischiefs today. Mischiefs means don't do anything uh, wrong. Okay, that is any don't don't do any playful things. Okay, then Mrs. Reed is in a frightful mood at breakfast this morning. So is in a she is in a frightful mood. This Mrs. Reed is a in a frightful mood in the morning at the breakfast time. So don't do any uh, mischievous things or don't play any games or don't be quarrelling with anyone. Okay, sanda poda mayrgan suraniya. Then Jane, oh, she never takes notice of me anymore. I think she hides in the sitting room if she hears me coming down the stairs. So she never takes notice of me anytime. So only when she hears my voice, she comes down. Okay, Bessie said, I am speaking of Miss Georgiana and Eliza. No quarreling with those two or you will have the whole house in uproar. That is, don't when you are sitting for the breakfast, that is, Jane, then her cousins like Elena, Eliza, John and Georgiana, when they were sitting, they used to, she used to quarrel with those children. So, she is telling not to quarrel with those children. And you will take the whole house in a uproar. Jane said, no, it's not me. Who starts? It's not me who starts it. That is, I'll hide myself in the library with Uncle Reed's book. So I'll hide hide now. So I'll hide in the library with Uncle Reed. So Mrs. Reed Nikangale, I'm my husband. That is Uncle Mrs. Reed's book. Jane sits on the floor and looks through a picture book. Now John is John, Jane is sitting in the floor of the library and is looking through a picture book. John, Georgiana and Eliza comes there. So they all these three come to the library. John said, here she is, Jane. What do you want? John said, how dare to ask me what do you want? Come here when I call you. So he's, that boy is telling, what, why are you asking me what do you want? When I call you, you have to come. Now, Eliza, what are you reading now? Jane said, Bevick's History of British Birds. I am reading the book called the Bevick's History of British Birds. John, show me, he said. Eliza, it's one of the father's books. You know, not, not one of those books belongs to you. So, it's a, his, their father's book. So, none of the book belongs to that girl. Okay, because she is, they don't have father and, that girl don't have father and mother. And she is an orphan. Ilya, so, papa, mala, dangla, dangla, orphan, so, no. So, and the panna kya arme illa. So, ava vandha, anga vandhu varu, idhada vandhurka. So, it does not belongs to her. So, anga irukkara pasangalukda, anga appa, daughter, sondho, adhi, illya. So, avaluk sondho, illa, so, no. You know, not one of these books belongs to you. John said, bring it to me here. Jane rises and cautiously goes to John. John, you have no business to take our books. So, you are a dependent. Dependent dependent they are saying. You have no money. Your father left you none. You ought to beg not to live here with gentlemen's children like us. So, you have to beg. Go, stand by the door there, out of the way of the mirror and the window. So, they are telling to go and stand out of the house. Jane moves a few steps away. John throws a book at her. Now, John is throwing the book at her. John runs towards Jane and grabs her head and shoulders. So, Odipoy John on the Jane oda mudiyayu shoulder yu pidiche atra. He hits her with something. One or two drops of blood from her head trickle down her neck. So, when he hits her, 
uh, hits with something to Jane, what happened? Jane's head was with blood, fully with blood and it from it's coming down to the neck. Eliza screamed, screams means started shouting. Bessie and Mrs. Reed come there. Bessie, dear, dear, what fury to fly at master, John like this? Mrs. Reed said, frightful child, take her away in the red room and lock her in the red room. Now, irritana room, la da, red room, so irritana room, da, and lock her there. Angapai, uh, lock panidana. Bessie, but Mrs. Reed, and then I'm a chinna ponilla, I'm a pota, and I'm a buy at home. So she said, Mrs. Reed, the red room, do as I say. So, the red room, la poi, order. Bessie, didn't I see Jane? He threw the book at me. So, I was told Bessie, I was told that I was not going to but Jane said, I was not going to do it. I was not going to do it. Bessie, come quickly. What shocking behavior for a young girl. Bessie brings Jane to the red room and leaves her there. So, Bessie, what do you do? Bessie, what do you do? She brings Jane to the red room and leaves her there. So, Bessie, what do you do? Jane collapses to the floor. Abdi rumba kisha bata abdi on the floor la abdi ukandra. The floor and cries. She hears some from some noise and screams. So in the red room la kalle, in the retina room la kum bode. Allu mande urmari sattamu ila screams noise alla mande thundi chaun ke na namo. Jane said, Bessie, let me out. Please let me out. Help me, Bessie. Mrs. Reed and Bessie appear out in the hall. So Bessie. Jane started shouting, Bessie, I'm going to come here, I'm going to come here, I'm going to come here, I'm going to come here. So, Mrs. Reed, what is a horrible child up to now? Why are you doing this job? Bessie said, Miss Jane, you are alright? Jane, let me out please, Bessie. You are correct, you are not here, 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 you are not here. Then Bessie, are you hurt? What is the matter? You are not here, you are not here. Jane, I heard something. Please unlock the doors. And then the noise and the screams are in the room. And then I'm going to go to the room. Mrs. Reed, stop the screaming. I will not be taken in by your tricks, Jane. I shall let out in the morning. So what did Mrs. Reed say? Stop shouting. You are doing the screaming. You are doing tricks. So I'll take you in the morning. So I'll get you in the morning. So I'll get you in the morning. Jane is left in the room. When she wakes up, Bessie is sitting next to her. Jane is confused. So now Jane is for, there for the full night. Read the full night in the room. When she wakes up, so morning, I'm going to come there. Who is next to her? Bessie was sitting next to her. And Jane was very much confused. Jane, where is Bessie? 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 Bessie said, It's Bessie Jane. You have been asleep, asleep ever so long. It's nearly dinner time. So, you are not going to eat for the dinner time. Am I ill? I feel so ill. If you are not going to eat, you are not going to eat. Jane is asking. Bessie. Doctor has been and gone. So, doctor is going to eat. He says it's fever. He says it's fever. He says it's fever. He says it's fever. Jane, am I going to die? So Jane is asking, I am going to die. Dina. Bessie, no child, you will be alright within a week. So, one more time, you will be fine. You fell sick in the red room with crying. I suppose, in the red room, you will be fine. 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 Jane, it was not crying, Bessie. I heard some noise. I saw something. So, I heard something. I heard something. I heard something. I heard something. Bessie, don't upset yourself again. Now you need to rest. So, if you are upset, you are not arrested. So, Jane, it was Uncle Reed. So, Bessie, shh, no more talking. Close your eyes, I will stay with you. Say, that Uncle Reed is not a problem. So, but, I said, if you are not talking about anything, you will sleep. Bessie is saying, Bessie, poor child, I do believe it. So, I am not going to believe in what she saw. So, after this incident, so, I will finish this one. Mrs. Reed writes a letter to Mr. Brocklehurst, who is running a school, Lowood. He visits Kate's head. Jane is sent to Lowood with him. That is, after the incident, Mrs. Reed. Okay, Mrs. Reed, her aunt. She writes a letter to Mr. Brocklehurst. Our one is a school, but it is a charity school. Where is it? Where is it? Lowood. That's the school name is Lowood. And he visits her aunt. Our one is a school. Kate said to her, but he came to the house. Jane is sent to Lowood with him. So, who is going to go to the house? Jane is going to go to the house to a school called Lowood. Now, you are going to see the Lowood now, at Lowood. The driver wakes up Jane. She is left off at the gates of Lowood. She meets Miss Killer and Miss Temple. Okay, to whom she meets? Miss Killer and Miss Temple. Miss Killer said, Jane here? Jane, yes madam. 
Miss Miller, this way. So they are showing the way to go. Jane enters a dark stone building. All are quiet. All are silent. All were silent. She neither sees or hears any other student. She can't see any other student in that place. Miss Temple, this child is very young to be sent alone. So it's what she is saying. This girl is very young to go alone and live in that school. She had better to be put to bed soon. She looks tired. Are you tired? Jane said, a little madam. I am very, a little bit tired. Miss Temple said, and hungry too, no doubt. So she was hungry as well as tired also. Let her have some supper. Supper means dinner, okay? Before she goes to bed. Miss Miller, is this the first time you have left your parents to come to school? My little girl, she is asking. What she is asking? That you have left your parents and come to the school for the first time. Jane said, my parents are dead. So Miss Temple, oh I see. Can you read and write? She asked. Yes madam, I can read and write, sir. Miss Jane said. Then Miss Temple, and so do you see you, Jane, a little. Miss Temple touches her cheeks. Cheeks na another. Cheeks in the mat, cheek pani gently. I hope you shall be a good girl, Jane Ayer. Jane said, yes madam, I'll be a good girl. Miss Miller and Jane exit. Exit means move from there. The next day, Miss Miller and Jane enter a wide long room. A wide long room, a wide room. There are many girls of age 10 to 20. What age? 10 to 20. All are uniformly dressed. So, school all are uniform. So, all are uniformly dressed. And the room is very noisy. So, many children were there and the room was also noisy. Miss Milna, silence she said. So, all kept silent there. Go to the wash. When the girls get there, they hesitate. Hesitate na? What's the matter? Time to wash. Girls said, Miss Milna. Miss Milna, what is it? Girls said, the water is frozen again. Frozen na? Remember, chilla it chinna. Miss Miller, very well monitors, remove the basins. Miss Miller, the new girl, where shall I put her, Miss Temple? So the new girl has come, now we will have to go to the end of class. Miss Temple said, perhaps a fourth form. Miss Miller said, but she is so little. Miss Temple said, she can read and write. I think she will do well there. So we will have to go to the fourth form. Miss Miller said, yes, Miss Temple. Jane is put in form four. After lunch, Miss Miller asks the girls to go to the garden. Miss Miller and Miss Temple exit, that is, they come out, and Helen enters, sits, and reads a book. Who is entering now? Helen. Helen Jane, is your book interesting? Helen said, I like it. You may look it look it at. Okay, Jane said, I think it is too difficult for me to read. Okay, Helen said, You read one of your age. One of the easy age. Jane said, My name is Jane Ayer. What's the name? Helen said, Helen Burns. So what's her name? Helen Burns. Jane said, can you tell me what the writing on the stone over the door means? What is Lowood Institution? Helen said, this house where you have come to live. This is the house where you have come to live here. Jane said, and why do they call it institution? Is it any way different from other schools? Uh, Helen said, is, it is partly a charity school. Charity school na? Angavandar? Orphan pig girls and orphan children So it's a charity school You and I and all the rest of us are charity Children that is also don't have father and mother Orphan or kangala Charity school I suppose you are an orphan Aren't either your father or your mother dead Jane said both died Before I can remember I was a child 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 Then Helen said well, all the girls here have lost either one or both parents. This is called an institu institution for educating orphans. So, in the institution, in the school, for um, educating the orphan children. Orphan children means all those who don't have father and mother. Jane asked, are you happy here? Helen said, you asked rather too many questions. I have given you answers enough for the parents. So, anyone the questions can tell. Now, I have answer them. So, now I want to read now, she said. Then, um, Spring has started. Semi-starvation and neglected colds had predisposed most of the students to receive infection. Then 45 out of the 80 girls all lay ill at one time. That the 80 girls lay 45 and were lay ill. Lay ill now. We'll go say Helen was also ill. Jane goes to meet Helen in Miss Temple's room. Now Jane is going to the Helen's room. Helen, are you awake? Helen said. Why have you come here, Jane? It is past 11 o'clock. So why have you come here? It's over, over 11 o'clock now. Jane said, I have come to see you, Helen. I have heard you are ill. And I cannot sleep until I speak to you. So I, so, uh, 
I come to see you, Helen here. I have heard that you are ill and I cannot sleep until I speak to you, she said. Okay. Then Helen said, you have come to bid me goodbye. You are just in time probably. Are you going home? Jane asked. Helen said, yes. To my long home. Last home. Last home that is going that she is going to God. Jane said, no, no, Helen. But where are you going, Helen? Do you know? Helen said, I believe I have faith. I am going to God. How comfortable I am. The cough has tired me. I feel as I could sleep. So, I will cough. 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 I am very tired. I want to go to heaven. She said, I want to go to God. Jane said, good night, Helen. Helen, good night, Jane. She said, Helen dies that night. Helen, on the night, I will cough. I will cough. Helen dies. Okay, I will cough. The school improves. Jane spends eight years in the school. So, the kapra wandi. How many years she was there in school? Eight years. Six years as pupil. That was six years as a student and two years as a teacher. And this school wandi was six years wandi anga padicha. Two years wandi teacher work mana. So, how many eight years? Jane wants liberty and comes half desperate. A week later, a week later, she has received a letter from Mrs. Fairfax. Thornfield. Jane leaves Lowood and goes to Thornfield. So, on the Lowood school, where she is going now to Thornfield. Mrs. Fairfax. How do you do, my dear? I am afraid you have had a tedious ride. You must be cold. Come to the fire. Do sit down. So, on the room, chill out. Fire get on the current soda. Said Jane. Thank you, madam. Don't trouble yourself much. So, on the room, chill out. And on the room, Oh, it's no trouble. You have brought your luggage with you. Haven't you, my dear? Yes, madam, she said. Shall I have the pleasure of seeing Mrs. Fairfax tonight? Miss Fairfax? Oh, you mean Miss Adela. Adela is the name of your future pupil, that is a student. Jane, indeed she is not your daughter. Miss Fairfax, no. I have no family. So, Fairfax said I have no family. She is Mrs. Rochester's ward. Rochester's ward means daughter. Okay? But I will not keep you sitting up late tonight. Come, I will show you a bedroom. So, I will show you a bedroom. I will show you then Jane takes rest and sleeps well at night. She wakes up early in the morning and goes out for a walk. Then morning in the chair, I'm going to walk. Mrs. Fairfax, what? Out already? You are an early riser. How do you like Thornfield? I'm going to walk in the chair. I'm going to walk in the chair. I'm going to walk in the chair. I like it very much. Mrs. Fairfax, it's a pretty place. Mrs. Adela comes running up the lawn, followed by attendant Mrs. Varens. Mrs. Fairfax, here she comes. Good morning, Mrs. Varens. Miss Fairfax said, good morning, Miss Fairfax. Miss Fairfax comes, Adela comes there and speak to the lady who is going to teach you in future. So, who is the teacher here? Jane is the teacher and the, um, that is, Adela is a student. Miss Adela said, good morning, Miss Jane. Jane said, good morning, come here. Uh, you are beautiful. Tomorrow we will begin our lessons and learning. So, you are very beautiful. You are very beautiful. You are very beautiful. Miss Adela, on learning? Jane said, yes. We will take walks through the fields that surround Thornfield and we will learn about nature. So, we will study all the nature of the animals, flowers, and the animals. We will study all. We can that isn't in books and all we can that is. And we will paint. So, we will paint all the animals. Miss Adela, paint Miss Jane. Jane said, yes, paint. I believe that art is a window of the soul. Do you like to draw Miss Adela? So, we will draw the animals. Yes, Miss Jane. I do it all the time. So, I have to do it all the time. I can sing and dance also. Shall I? So, I know to dance and sing also, she said. Miss Fairwax, Adela, you have many weeks and many months to entertain Miss Jane. Now, you go to your room. So, you have to go to your room. Now, you go to your room, she said. Jane, yes, I will look forward to the entertainment eagerly. So, Miss Fairwax and Adela leave there. So, Jane starts teaching Adela. And leads a new life in Thornfield. So Jane wonder, when you go to Thornfield, you will learn and learn. Teach and learn. Learning, okay? And she was living her life in the Thornfield there, okay? Now this is a story, children. Did you understand this? So in the next class, I will give you the book back in this, children, okay? Thank you.